Hello and welcome to this episode with GardensAll.com. This is Leora Alderson. We are looking at the front of our house and our little uh, slice of heaven here in the woods. This is our backyard as well as part of our front yard. Our garden is on the other side where we have a little bit more sun, but as you can see, as we've said many times before, uh, we don't have a lot of sun because we're in the woods and that's my son, Nikolai Alderson. Hi. And he's, we're here today to talk about May apples and show you some of our May apple patch. We have quite a few here in the woods and, um, and Nikolai is going to show you, the, we're going to show the May apple leaf and the May apple fruit. So this is called a palmate leaves, and it, the may apple has either five to six lobes. The males are single. You see, they have only one leaf, while the females have two leaves, and the fruit comes out right in between the two. From the female. From the female. Oh, very cool. And so um, the females put out two little flowers, one to two flowers, with the male. The male does too, but it's but no not fruit. there. No yeah. fruit. So, um, after the flowers fall off, the May apple puts out a little uh, piece of fruit. And today is March 19th. No, May. May 19th. <laughs> and, uh, so, uh, as we're filming this, it is 5-19-19. And, yeah, and we're in zone 7A, growing zone in North Carolina. Despite um, the May apple being called May apple, uh, the fruit is not ready until mid to late summer. But here's the trick. Other animals like squirrels and other um, uh, skunks and raccoons really love this fruit. And so you have to be really on top of it when the fruit is ready. Uh, otherwise, you won't have any fruit. Um, because they will pick it clean. Which, you know, it's good actually, it's great food for the wildlife, but if you want to enjoy some or if you're foraging and need some food, then midsummer you can look for the may apple leaves and do not eat the root or the leaves. Uh, they are actually um, medicinal but toxic if taken internally. And the fruit though, ripe, when ripe, which will turn red, right? Um, I believe so turns reddish and we're going to come back and do a part two when these are actually red if we catch it before the wildlife does um, and show you that as well. Um, oh and the other thing is these leaves so it's good if you identify where your may apple patches are because the leaves tend to um, wither away as the fruit ripens so it can be harder to find them and locate them. Like right here. This used to have two leaves but now it only has one, and yeah, has one with a piece of fruit on it. All right, that's some nice fruit. All right, and also we have, let's see what's growing in here, is Virginia Cooper is also growing in here, and we'll talk about that another time. All right, anything else, Nikolai, for the afternoon? Um, the fruit can be poisonous if you don't pick it at the right time, so okay. make sure to pick it um, when it's nice and soft. And red, okay, all right. All right. Yep. Thank you. Thank you.